For three years, from 1968 to 1971, John Deere offered a handful of other paint options for its garden tractors besides the traditional yellow and green. Often you hear these machines referred to as patio tractors, which is not their official name. Custom color is what they were first advertised as from the company. And along the way, the word patio tractor kind of was picked up as a slang or, or whatever you want to call that. But they're actually not patio tractors, they're actually custom colors. Father and son, Mark and Darren Redding, have one of each of the custom colors, patio red, April yellow, sunset orange, and spruce blue. The body on all of these tractors was painted dogwood white. No one knows for sure why Deere picked these four colors, but the Reddings have a theory. My own uh, opinion is these colors represent in the era of time, their competitors as a company. Red being Harvester, International Harvester or Formal, Blue being Ford, Orange being Alice, and Yellow being maybe Cockshut or Minneapolis Moline or something of this nature. When I worked at the dealer during this era of time, most of our customers said, if I'm going to buy a lawn and garden with John Deere's name on it, it's going to be green and yellow. There was a lot of dealers, they wound up painting white tractors green, taking the hood off and taking the seat off and putting a green hood and a yellow seat on them. But what if Deere had picked different colors to paint the tractors? A few years ago, the Reddings got their hands on some production photos that showed some of the other color combinations the company considered. We only obtained these from a very good friend of ours, Martin Burke, which was the lead head engineer of the Lawn and Garden program back in 1963 and earlier, and said, these are colors that I run across that we looked at, but did not decide on. When we first got the studio photographs from Martin, a little light bulb went off in, in Dad's head and my head, and, and we thought we really need to recreate something, uh, one of the colors. It was completely out of our normal of what we do restoration-wise. The Reddings call their tractor a reproduction prototype. So, out of the five potential color combos, how did Mark and Darren decide on gold and black? The black and gold caught our eye because it runs true to our, our roots where we are, where we're located in the state of Indiana. Purdue is only about 35 to 40 miles from where we stand right now. Black and gold is their, their school colors. We chose that and I call the machine my Boilermaker Special. So, yeah, take it for what it, what it is. Once they picked a color, the Reddings needed a tractor to paint. They bought a 1968 Model 112 with a 10-horse Tecumseh engine from a friend in upstate New York. This has a Tecumseh, yes. We tried to duplicate that because the photos that we received had the Tecumseh engine in it. It has the variable speed. You can pick and choose your ground speed by moving the lever on the uh, right side. So either speed up or slow down, depending upon the, the amount of grass you were trying to, to mow, or if you had a tiller on the back or something of this nature, a blade on the front. They were tremendous machines. You would wear the engine and maybe the trans shifting gear or shifting collars in the transmission, you'd wear them out before you'd ever think about wearing the tractor out. The tractors were very, very well built and still are today. The Reddings found that it can be tough to reproduce a tractor based on just one five-decade-old photo. I took the photographs that were sent to us uh, by Martin Burke and took it to a studio, a camera studio shop, and had it digitized. That way we could get a little bit more um, of a true color. And then we were actually taking, uh, we took that color and started going through color chips and things like that, uh, color codes from 1968. Uh, we did that at our local body shop and uh, paint shop. And the gold that we chose that was closest to the photographs 
is actually, that tractor is painted 1968 Ford Mustang Gold. Why didn't John Deere use that gold color versus the white on the custom color series that they come out with? The gold, it seems to be an easier color uh, to maintain. Uh, to me, it's just as attractive with the four colors that they used. It would look great, but they chose white. This tractor is a fairly new addition to the Redding collection, but it's already getting attention at shows. It's been a, a crowd pleaser. Uh, a lot of people, you know, don't really understand the patio or the custom color or series. And then when you throw a gold tractor at them, they really kind of get confused. But all in all, it's been a very uh, positive thing and, and people love the color. They ask us all the time, why didn't deer stick with gold instead of white? That's a question we cannot answer. We, we have no explanation why they chose white over gold. As far as we know, it is the only one in existence. We feel that the five photos or the five tractors that they used to create these photos that we received were probably repainted either white or they were repainted green. We don't, we don't know that, we are only assuming. This one-of-a-kind gold and black tractor is now part of the Redding's green and yellow collection. They're fans of all things John Deere and are always on the lookout for rare or unique items to add to their lineup. If you ask people that's in our lives daily, they can't believe that we get anything done other than look for John Deere tractors. We're always on the look. We're always trying to find something new, something different. Um, we particularly like to go for the low production number machines, uh, the oddball uh, tractors, if you will, uh, in the garden tractor line, the, the big tractor line, whatever. Our eyes are always open traveling up and down the road. A lot of fence row finds, behind the barn finds, things like this will lead you into a lot of uh, different items. So as long as my health and the good Lord allows me to keep going, I'm gonna keep going. Thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. If green is your scene, be sure to check out these other classic stories. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep those classic tractor stories rolling.